Have you guys ever wanted to enjoy a nice cold one after a long day, but you don't want the downsides of the alcohol, the carbs, the calories? Well, that's where hop tea comes in. Now, previously on this channel, I reviewed hop water by Lagunitas, as well as a non-alcoholic IPA. However, the decision to review both of those actually came from seeing hop tea continuously pop up on my Instagram feed. Now, I love IPAs, and IPAs are mostly hoppy flavored beers but the calories in those they build up very quickly and really counteract any type of fitness you're trying to do unless you're burning that many calories a day and they will quickly give you a beer gut and i feel like there's a market out there that definitely thought the same thing that they loved the flavor but hated the calorie intake hated the alcohol consumption and hot tea looks to rectify that because this is green tea mixed with hops to create a flavor i believe that's going to end up being a sparkling tea that tastes like beer now their mission statement on here even says tea brewed like craft beer crushable anytime but pairs especially well with post run cheers long mountain climbs and epic bike commutes so i guess this this version of hop tea is meant for the active human now and i say this version because there are different varieties of hop tea this one is the green tea one as i mentioned earlier there is a white tea one there is a black tea one as well as i think a couple other ones out there now because this is basically tea it's zero calories the ingredients are three simple ingredients of carbonated water organic green tea and mosaic hops which i honestly think when you think about it if you know like your hop profile Mosaic hops and green tea are going to work very well together in terms of flavor tones, but there's also 60 milligrams of caffeine in here. So not only are you getting the benefits of organic green tea, you're also getting a little pick-me-up within the caffeine. Um, now, Hoplark Hop Tea was established in 2018. They're out of Boulder, Colorado. I want to give that a little bit of a shout out. And they are certified gluten-free, non-alcoholic. It's a whole 30 approved. Certified vegan, non-GMO, zero, ca zero calories, and zero sugar. So I kind of want to see, of course, what this actually tastes like after just seeing it show up on my Instagram feed for the last, like, year now. Um, now, this does say it's a mosaic hop flower and whole leaf imperial green tea. And the hoppiness level on here, which they actually include on the side, says quite. So it's quite hoppy. But you guys don't want to see me talk about it. We want to taste test it. Offhand, that smells just like a good IPA. So I am very excited for that. You see the smile. I was hoping this didn't smell like something really watered down that I was going to maybe hate. But it's already giving me some good signs in what they tried to accomplish here. Now, tea has so many benefits to it. Literally, tea has benefits that counteract all the negativities in a sense that alcohol can pertain to the body. Uh, alcohol makes it hard for your liver to function properly, whereas tea helps detoxify your liver and function properly. Now, hops offhand aren't detrimental to anything. Uh, hops are just kind of a brewing ingredient, um, and hop water actually does have certain benefits to it. Uh, it's where you add, you know, all the alcohol, all the yeast. That's where you get your detriments. And they're putting this in tea to make a mock beer almost that I think everyone can enjoy, especially if you're trying to lay off. So let's take a couple sips. Just as I suspected. The flavor profiles of, of these hops and the green tea, they really mesh well together because mosaic hops already have a really dryness to them um, and a really almost bitter taste to them, just kind of like green tea. The only difference is green tea definitely has its own little aftertaste to it um, where you can kind of just straight taste the green tea and that's there. And it works well because the initial tastes are of the hops. So you get that like, hey, this tastes like a beer. And hops are also known to kind of be relaxing. But then as you continue to drink, that tea flavor comes in. And 
the transition on your taste buds is almost seamless of how you get both flavor profiles without having to kind of be confused about it. And honestly, cold, this is pretty damn delicious. Um, it has that little kick of the caffeine. It tastes like green tea. It tastes like if you were to make an IPA tea, basically. And um, I am very, very satisfied with it. Now, if only I could order cases of this from somewhere, maybe their website, instead of going to a, a store and buying individual cans, because it gets a little pricey. Now, with this being kind of a specialty good, um, each can was like $2.99, I believe, which is a little bit of a lot. It's even more than what an IPA would cost. But if over time they can find a way to adjust that pricing to kind of make it more in line of maybe like a $1.99 a can, like a typical price for like an energy drink, I would be picking these up all the time. You do get that little caffeine kick. You get the green tea, which is great for weight management. And actually green tea is also good for minimizing damage of oxidation done by free radicals. But we're not going to go into a science lesson here. Um, and which is three simple ingredients. This is a really clean drink, a, a drink that will quench your hoppy cravings, and a drink that's just going to leave you satisfied if you like the flavor of hops. Now, I know hops are very iffy with if people are going to like them. I remember I hated my first IPA when I had it, but I've always liked green tea. I like really strong green tea, like Sencha green tea. Uh, and the mosaic hops in here, literally, they complement the tea and vice versa so well that I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised by this. Um, so, guys, check this out if you can come across it. Sparkling Hop Tea by Hoppy Lark out of Boulder, Colorado. I was able to pick this up at a Whole Foods. Um, it's a clean drink. It's a refreshing drink, especially ice cold. And I think you guys, if you like the flavors that are there, they come together in such an amazing way that you will probably keep buying this. If you guys have had hop tea before, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Stay safe. See you, bye.